Claude Shannon, a mathematician and engineer, single-handedly <laughs> invented the digital age. And that is one of these crazy science stories where, where one person, basically, in, a, in one paper, actually it's a two-part paper, in 1948 he published it, and he called it very hum humbly, Mathematical Theory of Communication. Actually, it's the... <laughs> Mathematical theory of communication, but he was a very humble guy. And he singly, single handedly conceptualized the bit. And with the bit, basically conceptualized the unit of information. And with that, all other information converged on that. There's a very interesting book that, if you're interested in this really amazing science and crazy science story around Claude Shannon, I invite you to, to check it out from. From Gleek, the information, a history, a, a theory, a flood, very nicely written and, and it's extremely interesting to understand how the digital age came about so recently, not, not, very, not very many decades ago. Now, the bid is so convincing, so, so useful as a unit of information that all previous information communication technology converged on it. We call, we call it the digital convergence on the bit. So communication, for example, starting with smoke signals. I mean, when, when was that? And a, a newspaper, the telegraph, of course, any kind of telephony, radio, television broadcasting was a lot of one-way communication. Uh, and, and then mobile telephony as well. Same as storage. And that goes all the way back to cave paintings. I mean, that was the first information storages that we had, technological information storages, and that goes to the origin of humanity. Printing press, of course, really changed the course of history, talking about social construction of, of reality, and then all the different tapes that we had. And computation too, the abacus, I mean, that's more than 5,000 years old, that computer, uh, basically. And, uh, and then all kind of different calculating devices that we have used also converged on the bit, so computation, communication, storage. So communication is the transmission of data, of information through space. Storage is the transmission of information through time. And since Einstein, we actually know space and time are you know, pretty, some physicists just interchange them. So the engineering aspect has some similarities. And computation is the transformation of information in space and time, the Turing machine. And we will talk more about how that works. Now, the theoretical conceptualization of how the bit is used in computation comes from another mathematician. During the Cold War, they didn't really talk to each other because it's a Russian mathematician called Andrei Kolmogorov and is known as Kolmogorov complexity. And of course, then this continues here, this evolution has continued and is still continuing and it's converging and evolving. But still these three information through space, through time and the transformation is keeping going on. In this exploration, we will talk about these innovations. Just pick these three just to show you that this is still ongoing, the blockchain, the metaverse, and of course, generative uh, artificial intelligence. But it's very important for me to understand, for you to understand that it works both with information and with computation. The bit is the key of the digital age.